There's an old Jewish joke about Judgment Day. And on the Day of Judgment, uh, God calls everybody who's ever lived before him and decides that he's going to judge them. And he tells them all to line themselves up in front of him, and as people do, he says, OK, it's time for judgment. I, uh, I'm going to go through the Ten Commandments. And if you've ever committed one of the sins that I mention, then you've got to go and walk over there, walk that way, and make your way towards hell, where you'll spend the rest of eternity. And so he, uh, he starts by reciting the first commandment. And as he recites the first commandment, a whole load of people walk off towards hell, realising that he knows anyway. So they walk off towards hell, and as they're walking off towards hell, he says the second commandment. And after he said the second commandment, a shed load more people just wander off towards hell. And so he goes on and on through until he gets to about the, the eighth commandment. And after he said the eighth commandment, there's only a handful of people left, really. And he looks at them and is just about to recite the ninth commandment. And he realises that uh, standing in front of him, are a group of people who are smug, self-righteous, joyless, pompous misery guts who nobody would want to spend eternity with. And so he shouted out in a loud voice, all right, he says, and everyone who's made their way away starts looking round. And he shouts out to them all, You can all come back, I've changed my mind. And they all come back, because he's changed his mind. He wants a different plan. Doesn't want to spend eternity with all these misery guts. It's a joke because that's pretty much how plenty of us see God this deeply vengeful God who just wants to catch us out for the things that we've done wrong and send us to hell to burn forever and our idea of the Ten Commandments and the laws that God gave to us but they just spoil sport he just wants to spoil our fun he's not interested in us at all he just wants to spoil our fun We recite in our own heads the thou shalt not and we think yeah that's just about it thou shalt not is the voice of God ringing in our ears but I want to say that to you in a different way if you say it in that tone of voice it does give a very vengeful God but I don't think that's what the Ten Commandments about at all. I believe in a, a really deeply loving God, a God who loves us all equally and cares about us all and wants none of us to perish in the way that I've just described in the old Jewish joke. He doesn't want that for any of us. What he's saying in the Ten Commandments and things like that is, if you want to have a happy life, you need to stay clear away from these things. You need to steer, steer clear of murder, you want to steer clear of adultery, you want to steer clear of theft and, and, and hurting people and, and just wanting what other people have got. You want to steer clear of these things? That gives a different light to it, doesn't it? If you want to maintain a happy life, don't do these things. Is the voice of a loving parent, isn't it? When Jesus died, he, there needs to be that punishment for the wrong things that have been done. And Jesus took all that away so that everybody could have enjoyable life. Everybody could have eternal life with him. He died for everybody to give them eternal life. Now I've brought you to a very special place today. I've brought you to a graveyard. And it's not just any old graveyard. This is the place where my mum's buried.
and there's her gravestone. I don't uh, come here very often because I don't believe for one minute that she's here. I believe just like that last line on their gravestone says, she's with her Lord. She was a beautiful, beautiful person. She was a great mum. She loved us dearly and I've got the utmost and deepest respect and love still for my mum. I'm going to find these next few moments quite difficult. I'm going to move away from her grave and as I say I don't come here very often. And it's not because I don't love her or because I don't respect her. I do. You see, I believe that mum is in heaven with the Lord. I don't know whether that's where heaven is. But that's where we think of it, isn't it? But my mum, who I'm one of five children, and my mum used to get up at half past four every single morning and used to pray for us. And she loved us all dearly, cared for us all dearly, and was a wonderful, wonderful mum. And I believe that she's in heaven not because she was a wonderful mom or wife or person or even that she was a Christian she's not in heaven because of what she's said or done or even what she believed she's in heaven because Jesus in dying on the cross took away the sin of the world so that we could all enjoy eternal life with him that is a loving God, not a vengeful God. That is a loving God who loves us all deeply and immensely. And wherever your pathway leads you, you can rest assured that God only wants the best for you. He wants a happy life. He wants an eternal life for you. And he paid the ultimate price so that you could enjoy that future and that present. Jesus died on this Good Friday so that you could enjoy life to the full. Wonderful, wonderful news on Good Friday.